Hey guys, welcome to Car Guy 1999 Reviews as well as Quirk Auto Dealers. Today we have the 2018 Chevrolet Suburban LT. This is the Z71 package on top of the LT, uh, which gives it a little bit more off-road credibility. Summit white over the black leather interior, 32,000 miles on it, and it has the 5.3 under the hood. Of course, this is the previous generation of the Suburban. Doesn't make it any less cool and big. No rust on this one, which is to be expected. Although I'm sure somebody's gonna come in. Oh, Chevy's rust, oh, Ford's rust. Whatever, I don't get into brand arguments. True car guys, we appreciate every brand. Good old 5.3 under the hood. Whew! Why is it? Give me a little bit of 80 degrees. That'd be nice. have mirror to spy on the rear seat passengers do we have yes <laughs> good job Chevy awesome there's your backup camera storage cubby with USB so if you want to leave your phone charging without people seeing it you can whenever a vehicle is quite massive I always take this turn wide because I don't want to hit that Six-speed automatic. It's like I'm pretty sure it's a six-speed. Back in the day, you could get one of these with the 6.2. This one, of course, has the torque monster man I mean if you wanted more power you could get the 6 too and I'm sure there's still some out there um, I'm not sure about this generation I knew I know the new one uh, the high country comes with the 6 too I think it's an option on the Premier um, the Yukon it's in the Denali guaranteed not sure if it's optional on what other trims um, Escalade is only the 6.2 with and all those options all of these have the new ones have the diesel option uh, Like the Escalade has a diesel option Yukon Denali has a diesel option um, So pretty cool
Now for the new generation, they switched to independent rear suspension. This one still has the, um, oh, what do you call it? Live rear axle. That's it. Thank you, memory. But, I've, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> wrong pipe. I've driven, a little hot in here. I've driven these out on the road a few times. Love them. Love them. Um, I actually, sometimes I prefer this gen to the new one. Until I drive a new one. And I'm like, wow, this is awesome. This one's in great shape, too. This one doesn't drive much different than a brand new one. Interior looks brand new, smells brand new. That's a that's a huge thing with used cars. Sometimes, you know, you'll get in here, they're smoked in. We try not to stock too many smokers' cars, but most of the deets when they detail, most of the time they can get most, if not all, of any smells and stuff like that from the previous owner out. I think the whole time I've been here, maybe three or four cars I've looked at were smokers cars out of the like 1500 I've driven. So they're, they're, they're getting less and less common. What a SUV. What a vehicle. This thing is... I love these things. Um, just something about the driving position, the feel while driving them. It's just... It's really, really something unique. If you're in the market for a big SUV, Try out a Suburban or a Tahoe. They're, even though they're very expensive, brand new, um, even in the used market, these things hold their value like tanks. Even if you think, oh, that's really expensive, try it. They are impressive, to say the least. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one.